Hey, it's Steve Chapman, and the song you just heard was Every Breath You Take by The Police. Uh, it was a live looping demo I did using a new tone that I built on my Fender Mustang GTX amp. Um, I'll do a live looping demonstration in a minute. Uh, for now, let's take a look at the tone that I used. So in the bottom left here of my iPad, I'm going to click the Fender Tone app icon, and it takes me right here. Connects via Bluetooth automatically, which is cool. This is the download area, uh, the Fender Connect section and if I search at the top for loop anything it's going to come up with this preset clean one or clean number one uh, a clean lush tone on a Fender 65 Deluxe with hall reverb and stereo tape delay now I could try it or add it if I, I didn't have it already but I've already got it so I'm going to go over here to my presets and here we are it's number 190 so let's dive in. On the left, you have a signed chorus here, uh, moderate levels, sort of a lower delay rate and uh, depth. And let's swipe to the right. I use a 65 Deluxe Reverb here, a very low gain. Volume is cranked up a little bit to compensate for the gain since it's a real clean tone. Pretty high treble, middle uh, of about five, and then bass at seven. Off to the right, I use a large hall reverb, and this is pretty drenched uh, to create a big wide cavernous sound. And one over stereo tape delay. So uh, a pretty good uh, delay that goes left or right, although the level is pretty low just so it doesn't get out of control. So that's look at the tone. So to build uh, the song from the police, I use this exact tone, but I also use this right here, a bass simulator. Um, it's essentially the same tone that you just heard, except I turned off the stereo tape delay. You can see the r uh, red light is not lit. And I added a chromatic pitch, uh, pitch shifter. Um, so it tuned my guitar, my Fender Stratocaster down one full octave, and it sounds a good bit like a bass. Pretty cool. So let's take a look at Every Breath You Take by The Police. Uh, live looping here uh, using two apps. Group the loop which is a looping program. And then I use GarageBand to create a virtual drummer. This is Kyle and he creates a nice, slow, soft rim shot uh, loop. I export that before I start my song and then I import it into this. This is Grip the Loop. So you can hear it playing in the background here. Now I cue up my first track, which is my virtual bass, which I showed you a second ago. So here we go, recording the bass track. There you go, the bass track in the verse has been recorded and I cue up in another group the chorus. So it's pretty cool, you can build groups here. So the first group is the verse, the next group is the chorus. So here we go, recording the bass and the chorus. All right, now the bass and the chorus has been uh, recorded and you heard the chorus has a ride symbol, another drum loop that I exported. And now I have queued up the first uh, or second track in group one. I'm gonna play guitar number one. Now guitar number one has been recorded and I'm going to cue up a second guitar in that same group here in group one on track number three. Now I've got two roughly identical parts here. And what's cool is even after the fact, while the song's playing, I can separate them a little bit. So I'm gonna pan the first one way off to the left. The other one was already way off to the right. 
Here we go with group two, little guitar on the chorus. All right, I'm gonna cue up another guitar in group two. In this type of live looping demonstration, it gets a bit repetitive because the same part plays over and over and over again. All right, now all the guitar parts have been recorded. Now I'm not gonna do any more recording. When this section right here is over, I'm gonna go back into the verse and now I'm just gonna play some lead solo.